good day to one and all present here. I feel grateful to welcome you all for the fifth day of faculty development program on field hockey organized by IPSC and Department of Physical Education of Sri Shankarlal Sundarbai Shashun Jain College for Women in collaboration with Hockey Unit of Tamil Nadu. Thank you everyone. We appreciate your presence here today. Now I am very much honored to invite the resource person Mr. Anit Kumar, Physical Director, Agarwal Vidyalaya and Junior College and National Level Hockey Ampere, who is going to handle the session of today. Uh, duties and responsibilities of umpires prior to the tournaments and matches. Over to Mr. Anil Kumar. Uh, thank you, Madam. Uh, good evening to all the participants once again for the fourth day of this webinar. It's really a great thing for having this webinar in this during this period. Uh, I hope yesterday. I able to cover a little bit about the rules and regulations. Hope you all understand the rules of the hockey. Uh, in coming classes, two more sections, we'll, uh, I'll uh, detailly explain the, each rule. Even some of them ask, send me message to repeat the penalty corner and penalty stroke and prolonged penalty corner. Definitely on the next class, I am going to explain you detailly about the penalty corner, penalty stroke and uh, prolonged penalty corner. Uh, today's section, I am going to cover the share you about the duties and responsibilities of, of umpire prior or, or before the tournament and match. Okay, before going to the topic, I just want to pass some information I gathered from the net. It is that history of umpiring. The earlier history of hockey officiating is quite similar to that of football refereeing. Decision could only be made by appeal by the players compared with the cricket, where this is still in the case of for some decision. If no dedicated umpire official or available, the team captains could, could carry out as an umpire in addition to playing. Over time, it has come to a desirable that the umpire should be neutral. Although the matches are still played with the one umpire for each club in the game. Later stages, the, it is a, a one club with one umpire means if a two clubs are coming to play, each club should have one one umpire for the match. It is goes on, then there is a problem between the teams and all. Later stages, the associations made particular that uh, there will be a separate panel for umpiring and they will post the umpire for each matches. From, I just want to ask you, why we need umpire? The simple thing, why you need umpire? The teams are ready, the teams, both the teams are ready, the players know the timing, everything, what is goal, what is not a goal, what is foul, all these things. They can play the game, then why you need umpire? The role of umpire to control the match apply the rules of hockey, uphold the duty of care to the players, keeping the game and players safety, being the judge of fair play and keep the game flow. The prop main duties of umpire, that means the umpire, why umpire needed? The match will be live, it will be controlled, it will be well disciplined, it will be played according to the rules and the game flow will be there. The umpire decisions will make the game more interesting. The crowd can know what foul, all these things will be comes because when you have an umpire in the match. Now, coming to this, the duty of umpire. First, once the umpire posting or before the tournament or the, what he has to do, that I'll share you. Okay, duty of umpire prior or before the tournament. Once the umpire is posted for any tournament, what is his duty? 
first thing he has to give confirmation and his availability once he resumed his posting from FH or K India or your state body. Mostly, this is the main thing you have to say to your body, which um, body you are posted for the tournament. Then only they know this umpire is coming for the tournament. So no problem. Otherwise, they have to see for the other umpires who is available or all these things. Once you receive a mail or a mail, mostly nowadays they are sending a mail, no phone calls and all. Once you receive a mail, your first duty to inform the federation that I am available for the match or not available for the match because that according to that they will plan their umpiring team and the main thing in the umpiring you are comes under umpires manager all the umpires will comes under the umpires manager he is the person is responsible for your hosting everything so inform your arrival to umpires manager if you are posted as umpire I, once you are posted as umpire you are given the confirmation so immediately you are you get a call from umpires manager and all the umpires managers will call and you have to inform the umpires manager that i am coming on this date and i am coming through train or air or by road whatever it is all the details you have to inform to the umpires manager reach the venue one day before the commencement of the tournament most of the thing is better go earlier you will be relaxed and easy to do the tournament if the match tournament is starting on 23rd you have to be there 22nd so that you will get enough rest and you will feel comfort for doing the match so one day before that means 24 hours before the commencement of the match you have to go there once you reach the venue you have to inform the umpire manager and tournament director once you reach the venue center please inform the umpire manager and tournament director and get the details about your stay from umpire manager so mostly the one you once you are posted the umpire manager will call you and inform you that this so and so and so do it you have to reach the venue your accommodation is in this hotel and room number the umpire manager will allot you rooms that uh, the, uh, that means uh, you have to share the room with this umpire like that they will allot the rooms but it's your duty whatever he says but it's your duty to inform him once you go to that venue and hotel and get the details and keep yourself fit ready for the officiating officials meeting and fitness test main thing you have to keep yourself fit nowadays one day before the tournament they will have a fitness test so you have to be ready and umpires meeting will be there with the tournament director and umpires managers all these things will be done smoothly and peacefully once you reach earlier to the venue not in the last minute of the venue when you rush into the venue morning is the match you are reaching a 6 30 match you are reaching there in the ground by five o'clock that and all will be very risk so better go one day earlier so you will also feel easy and the umpires manager everyone will feel comfort okay before going to the tournament you have to have the checklist whatever most of you say no sir no no problem i know the things i will keep everything perfect but always keep one checklist whether you are done everything all these things you have to keep then only there will not be any confusion or anything will be there okay checklist for the tournament preparation of umpire that means before the tournament how you have to prepare yourself all these things thing is whatever it is as the win as a player before the tournament the teams will not go just like that they will also prepare prepare for the tournament they will plan strategy they will do practice they will do uh, practice matches they, they will play practice matches they will have a video section they will have a chat with the coaches they will have a specialist coach and they will have a physio all these things so they are when they are getting ready for the tournament same way as an umpire you should also should get ready for the tournament because in the tournament there are two three teams are playing one is team a one is team b another team is official team so we, you also should be ready for the tournament set your mind body everything should be ready for the tournament start your fitness program first point is start your fitness program earlier build up to the tournament so you need to confident in your ability to pass the fitness mostly the umpires 
even if you have a tournament or not having a tournament compulsory you have to do fitness morning compulsory you have to do fitness because modern hockey you have to run like a player even for an example i'm saying if players are getting break in between if they are tired they can go back and come back but as umpire you will not get a break full match you have to do the umpiring so you have to be conscious about your fitness so compulsory you have to do fitness and mind set your mind for the tournaments and be ready for the fitness test nowadays the one day earlier they will conduct fitness test so you have to be set your mind for the fitness test and do fitness do all the stretching for the tournament this second point is discuss with your senior umpire state or national coach playing style that you are may experience where possible as a video international hockey to get impression of what to be expect okay come to i half of the point will clear you have to discuss with your senior umpire because the senior umpire who is a person who went for the tournament earlier he may go on to the tournament and he will done more matches so you can get the feedback from the senior umpire uh, i am going for this sir i am going for this tournament how the standard of the tournament will be there what are the things i have to carry and he knows how you are doing umpiring so he will get guide you to what is the correction you have to make what are the things you have to do for the tournament all this this tips that means tips are valuable tips actually the senior umpires will give you valuable tips that will help you a lot in the match so talk to discuss with the senior umpires you are plus and minus he will give you plus and minus try to increase your plus and reduce your minus and state and national coach you will ask this question why you asking me to ask the national coaches because the coaches know the style of hockey each team they are playing so once you meet a coach you have a discussion with the coach you know what style of game that tournament suppose you are going for a national if you are talking to the tamil nadu coach or your state coach they will tell this is the standard of the national tournament the teams are playing in fast the teams are playing counter attack this team is very much in counter attack some more valuable tips is this team is very aggressive the players are very aggressive you have to be very conscious all these things will be given by the coach so keep a good wrap up with the coach so you get a feedback from the coach where possible use the video of international hockey to get the impression of what you you have to see the videos of the international matches this is what will improve and develop you to the next level if you are doing umpiring don't be in the same level if you are a national level umpire don't expect to be in that level always think one step with i so that you can go up when you saw the videos and international hockey will get more inputs that means how they are doing what is the decision they are doing how they are handling the pressure situation how they are talking with the players all these things you get in the video session this is very important for your preparation as some of the games are often quicker than the state level hockey okay that means that is what i said if you are doing a state level matches you are going for a national level the level of hockey will be differ to the state level and national level that gain speed the movement of the ball everything will be fast and the players the physic physic of the player the aggressiveness the way they approach you everything will be totally different from state level to national level if you are going to international level it will be one more step higher so you have to think all these things before going for the tournament be aware be aware that your training should be appropriate to the weather condition in the country state you are visiting make any necessary adjustment according to that sorry be aware training method this is the, the point point 3 that be aware of the training method you have to train yourself fitness everything according to the tournament venue you are going for example if you are going to the northern side uh, from the south if you go in the month of december or uh, november january january and all it will be very cold so according to that you have to plan your fitness level strengthen strengthening exercise and warm up exercise everything the same way the north ampere if they come to the south the month of may june and all it will be hot they have to plan according to that and another thing you have to adjust you to that all these things is a mind preparation main thing is that it is not that you are going to 
cannot do in the cold weather. But all these things before the tournament, if you have that mindset that I'm going to the cold condition, that I cannot get the warm up here, here faster, so I have to do warm up more. All these things will set your mind and make you to do match freely. Make your sure you are fit by a regular umpiring appropriate standard matches in the weeks and lay, leading to your event. Make sure this is this is the point is you have to do more matches, regular practice matches. That means you cannot expect now you are going for a nationals. You, you are doing practice matches in your own town. Can you expect the national participant team to come there and play practice matches? No, it is not possible. So you should not worry about the standard of the teams you are doing a practice matches. Think about the national. You are going for a national. So you do the practice matches and you don't think about the team. Simple thing I tell you is here. Don't see the team names. Just see the color of the team and do the umpiring. And make sure you read the current international rules or aware of the current interpretation have a read any relevant document this is a very very important thing umpire should know the rules latest rule they should rule the read the rule books regularly then only when any dispute or any controversy come you will have a confident to answer the player after reading a rule books you will get a confident if they ask you anything it is not a stick chain they will say no the rule it is mentioned see this is the line. All these things you can talk to the players. So the players also will get confident. Ah, this umpire knows the rules. We cannot go and talk to them. This is what read the rule book. And the same way, regulation. You have to see any new changes in the regulation or any new changes in the rules. All these things you have to go through so that you will do the you will prepare yourself for the match. Okay. This is some as I said before, you have to keep some what will you say? Checklist. If I show this uh, presentation, everyone knows. No, 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 sir. We all know all these things. We always carry all these things. Yes, everyone should carry this. But always keep the thing, checklist, so that in the last minute after reaching the video, you should not think, I don't have this. You, I forgot this, all these things. So I I made some list out and uh, showing you. You just see and keep it with you. Things should be carried by umpire during the tournament. It is very, very important point. The black pant. You all know the umpires in hockey should wear black pant. Each black means it should be black, not light black or black shade or navy blue. It looks like a black. It is not there. It should be black pant because uniform of the umpires will give, give you a good impression from the team. So wear a clear black pant. Keep two or three. Better keep two or three because you will have a regular matches, two matches day. Maybe some in local tournaments you have to do morning one matches, evening one matches, next day morning again one matches. So by the time you cannot wash your clothes, all this thing. So keep three, two or three black pants, white t-shirt. Why white t-shirt? White t-shirt. It is a common t-shirt all the umpires should carry for a tournament because you don't know what color the teams are wearing, what color the organizer is going to give. So carry white t-shirts and two good whistle. Two good whistle. Again, the same thing I'm telling you. Two good whistle. It should be good, louder, nice. And don't buy a new whistle before the tournament. Use the whistle for one week. Then you take the whistle to the tournament. Wristwatch. With electronic timing uh, you can ask me why the spots the electronic timer is on the ground why should i have to wear the spots i'll say better let the time goes if the electronic timing timer is on the ground or not it is not your thing just keep your timing always keep your timing that, that means if you're playing four quarter 15 minutes first quarter you keep five minutes five minutes five minutes okay five minutes four more Five minutes more, five minutes more, so that you can concentrate your game and keep a good watch that this should be visible. Some of the some umpires will have a watch 
it's very difficult to find out the time in that watch so don't keep like that keep a good watch which is visible to you and proper shoe always keep a proper shoe once your kit is good you will be get confident you are wearing a good pant t-shirt and shoe watch this will automatically 50% of confident level will be higher and color cards color cards what is that color cards yesterday some of them asked me orange color card is in hockey no so green yellow red the three color cards you should keep with you before going for the tournament and in the matches you have to keep it with you sweat band why sweat band see in the hot climate and the pressure matches automatically your body will sweat you get the sweating that time you cannot take a kerchief from a towel or from the pocket and wipe your face what happened during that time the moves will go the ball, some movement you will miss so always keep a sweat band to wipe your sweat so that you are, you can concentrate and can see the ball clearly pen and notepad pen to keep always you have to keep a pen in your pocket to see when i down write down the cards all these things notepad if i you having a meeting after the match umpire's manager will say some notes you have to keep note note down the points what is giving even for umpire meeting you have to note down the points so always keep pen and notepad latest rules book and copy this is what i insist the umpires because nowadays the modern technology you all all the most of the umpires will say i am having a rule book in my hand where if you ask the rule book they will say it is in my mobile so don't keep the yes okay go, good if you are keeping the rules books in your mobile good but always keep hand copy because suddenly if any doubts comes you are you can refer it easily but in the mobile it's very difficult to refer and you will keep the mobile all these things switch off and keep it in your locker you cannot carry the mobile to the ground but you can carry the rules book to the ground any time you can open but in mobile you cannot open any time so but keep the rule book and copy with you always for the tournament clothes according to the weather condition this is very very important if you are going to the cold weather keep the proper uh, clothes if if you are going for a tournament you know that there is rain in that area so keep a sweater means a uh, rain coat jacket so that you you will be comfort and uh, before the match and uh, going for the match without uh, you got wet it will be very difficult so always keep a clothes according to the place you are going okay this is the points i want to share you before the match that is before the tournament before the starting of the tournament once you get the posting what all this the points you have to think in your mind you have to set yourself because once you have got posting once you got all these things you have to check this be prepared and well go to the tournament it is not that lacking this is not there that is not there that should not be there okay so next point i want to share is before the match what are you are the things you have to do you will may ask what is it before the tournament and what is it before the match it is before the tournament is you are from your place to the venue that means place to the city now you are staying in chennai you are posted for all india tournament in delhi so before starting from chennai what are the things you have to see that is what i mentioned already now i am going to talk about the things you should carry or you should the duties and responsibility of you before the match okay this is the things should be done prior to the match once you receive posting as i said you may ask uh, already you said that posting that is different that is that you are posted for that tournament is that that posting here it is appointment sheet already regarding appointment sheet only sir said you clearly crystal clear what will be there in the appointment sheet what are the things will be there 
So once you receive the appointment sheet, that means mostly uh, the tournaments you receive the appointment one day before, 24 hours or 12 hours before. Once you receive the appointment sheet, you should confirm the compass manager, yes sir, I am ready. Or yes sir, I got the appointment sheet. So that from the day time you receive the appointment sheet, your match starts. That is the thing. Once you receive the appointment sheet, now tomorrow 3 o'clock is a match, you saw the appointment sheet today. From that day time you start, saw the appointment sheet, your match starts. So, and another thing, seeing the appointment sheet, simply seeing your name and signing on that will not help you. That is what the second point I mentioned. Check the time. What is the time of the match? You have to see. Day, venue. When is the match and venue? Uh, venue, why venue? Because there are in the nationals and some state championship, all these things, they will have a three or four grounds. The match will be in ground A, B, C. You have to see, you may see in the match timing, 3 o'clock, date 24, but time, venue you didn't see means you don't know which ground you have to go. So always check the time, date, venue so that you will be clear, okay, this is the timing. And another thing, main point in this, why venue? Some ground will be close to your hotel, some ground will be far from your hotel. So you can plan yourself the timing, what time you have, you can leave from the room, what time you can go to that ground, all these things and check the t-shirt color with your co-umpire. So this is what you have to talk to your co-umpire. You know, co-umpire means the umpires who are doing alone is not a co-umpire. All the three umpires, um, the field umpires and reserve umpires, you should, three of should talk together and decide what color t-shirt you are going to wear. And once you saw the appointment sheet, you know the teams, which team is playing. Roughly, you know that which the team's colors better keep two or three colors, same color. Mostly, you have to wear the t-shirt given by the organizers. If that organizer t-shirt is clashed, you have to wear your own t-shirt. But carry the t-shirts so that it will be clear. Uh, some cases, if you didn't discuss about the t-shirt, what will happen? What will happen? Just you are going to the ground. You brought green and red. Once you see the ground, one team is green, one team is red. Then the tension, you will get tension. Oh, you, I miss this color, I am having this color. All this confusion will happen. So better talk to the co-umpire. What are the colors you are going to wear? Keep two or three colors so that there are not any confusion. You can do match without tension. And once you got the posting, this is what, fix the timing of discussion with your co-umpire. Once you, mostly the national level or state level tournament, the umpires will stay in the same hotel. So you are getting a posting, you can talk to that umpire, telling him, okay, we can have an umpire's pre-match discussion today afternoon, or what is the time, one hour, today night, or whatever it is you can plan. Don't keep the match discussion timing just before the match. It is very risky. You have to reach the venue 30 minutes before, but you are keeping the ma match discussion 40 minutes before the match. Suddenly any the, the traffic or anything happen, the discussion will not be healthy. So always keep timing. You can discuss each point clearly so that you can do the match very, very free. Plan your strategy. What is strategy? Why we have to plan strategy? We are not playing a match. Isn't it? We are not playing a match. Why we have to plan a strategy? Yes. As I said before, three teams are playing. One is A team, one is B team, another one is official team. So we should have a strategy. What strategy? That is what you should. The starting of the match is like a close fist. You have to control the match in your control. Slowly, step by step, you can release. If the game is going out of your control, again, close it. That type of strategy. And uh, for another thing is, there will be a players, troublemakers. Some teams will have a troublemakers. So you can get all these ideas from your senior umpire or the umpires who did the match. So it is not that the troublemaker will trouble again, but you have to keep eye on that such a players. So that is all the strategy. 
you should know you to tell advantage what advantage how will apply advantage all these things will comes under strategy and check all the official posted for the match this is very important you should know who is your judge who is your technical officer because once you reach the venue you have to report to the technical officer most of the umpires will never see the who is the technical officer they just see the co umpire even they not see the reserve umpire no you have to see all the umpires who is the teams which teams are playing time venue date and official who is the two judges who is the technical officer who is the reserve umpire because once you reach the venue or uh, you have to report to the technical officer ensure the availability of a vehicle from the hotel to venue and if you are staying in a hotel it is one hour from the hotel to the ground you have to ensure that the, you have to get the uh, our whom is responsible to license officer or who is responsible for the vehicle you have to inform the vehicle uh, in charge person that i need a vehicle this time so that there will not be any problem reaching the venue in a time again checklist checklist because that is before the tournament this is before the match once it is simple relaxation that means don't be tense before the match be relaxed even you can listen to songs all these things but set your mind relax don't get pressure pressure yourself simply sit quietly and relax general preparation i am fully prepared that means it is mindset all these things is mind 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 game general preparation just go through the matches you did just go through and close your eyes just go through the matches you did what are the interpretation of the rules you did and where you are advantage you have to give how the matches that and feel that you are fully fit you are able to run up and down and you are prepared for the match that is called general preparation just relax keep a general preparation personal checklist of the things to do what are the things you have to do in the match that is what personal checklist what are the things you have to do i have to do the once you enter the ground i have to check all the things color flag all these things how to do the match control stick check body play advantage this is all the things i am going to do i will not allow the players to play body play i will not allow the players to have a brisk conduct i will not allow all these things these things you have to keep in your mind okay this team is very aggressive that team is also aggressive i have to control the game i have to do this i have to go to the co umpire area as it is i can help him the same way as the umpire all these things you have to note down and keep your checklist ready and another thing main thing what are the things you have to carry black pant the uniform card sweat band rule book pen and notepad this is also a checklist you should keep it ready you have to check whether all the things once you reach the venue check all these things this is ready this is ready okay good okay positive mental referral refreshen that means past games what i just said and think positively don't think the matches you did badly what happened if you think like that definitely you get pressure if you are done a one i am telling you again no umpire did the match all the matches perfectly every umpire will do mistake in one one match every umpire faced the pressure situation every umpire gone to the situation where the players crowded in or and uh, misbehaving with umpire so keep a good memories that you are done a match past games good memories about the past game and upcoming game that means the match you are going to perform think about that match this things are playing i'll be doing this match like this i'll be running nicely i'll run up and down and give i'll give a good decision it is self motivation same way of saying is you have to motivate yourself self motivation so upcoming games and pressure pressure situation what will you do in the pressure situation how to handle the pressure situation all these things you keep in your mind you, you should not keep yourself pressure think all these things will happen how to handle that situation 
okay stadium how the stadium crowd see if it is a noisy crowd you have to blow a little louder all this is all and players you have to just close your eyes and glance through the team you know how the players are simple you because most of the players you are you may see them or you may done their match or some other compare than the match so you know the players so just close your eyes how the players whether they are fast whether they are good in counter attack or they are playing a body play or they are playing a they will play deep game some teams they will never climb also they will not ask umpire all these things should go through your mind check the rules and tournament regulation compulsory guys you have to see the rules book compulsory you have to read the rule books regularly so that you, see once you know the rules you will have a confidence you will get a confidence definitely you will get a confidence because when i know the rules i can do the match easily that is the attitude you love so be read the rules book regularly positive self assurance that assurance that means positive as i said before be positive be positive i will do the match well i am going to perform well i am fit i can run them throughout the match up and down i will run all this positive things you should keep in your mind stretching compulsory you have to do stretching before the match warm up and stretching is must and diet diet means if you are posted for a 3 o'clock match you should have your lunch minimum 3 hours before if you are posted for a 4 o'clock match according to if you are posted for 1 o'clock match you have to skip your lunch you cannot have your lunch breakfast have a heavy breakfast if you are morning matches according to that you are don't eat before the match if you are posted for a 2 o'clock match don't go to the lunch and have a heavy lunch it is very uh, risk to do the match because feel comfort feel easy to do the match that is what and the things when you go for the tournaments you should be very conscious about your diet the things you are eating so certain foods you will not eat in your home place but once you go there you have to eat so please on check it if it is suited to you you have have otherwise because of diet if your health gone you will miss one match due to the health reason you may miss one match so be conscious in your diet pre match discussion where the umpiring where umpiring with the unknown colleges or short checklist may help the communication see the pre match discussion is mostly done because you will not know the umpire who is going to do with the umpire today because if you go for the national you are the only person from your state you may be posted to the other umpire so you should know what type of umpiring person is how we will manage the situation whatever the things you will help all these things will be you know only we when you have a pre match discussion regarding pre match discussion i'll to i'll show you two more slides so that you will have a good, clear picture of that okay now i completed uh, before tournament duty and responsibility of umpire before match duty and responsibility of umpire you know one point is missing is pre match discussion it is i uh, tell you detail in in detail now so why this all these things should be there why we have to do pre tournament duty what is the responsibility and duty and pre match discussion all these things we are you are doing to do match peacefully it is free mind peacefully you can do the match when you check all these things when you go through all these things you will not have any tension easily smoothly you can do the match so keep all these things in your mind take the list all these things what i said you keep the note of note down and when you go for a tournament you go through all these things and do a match you can see a vast difference between your umpire before after this 
So now I'll tell you what is a pre-match discussion. In this, I'll to show you two presentation. Just watch. Okay, now pre-match discussion. That means before the match, you, you, your co-umpire, both the co-umpire, the field umpire and reserve umpire, everyone should fix a time. First thing, you have to fix a time. That 3 o'clock is match, you are staying in the same hotel, you can have the pre-match discussion in the morning. Morning, uh, 8 o'clock after breakfast you can tell the co-ampere after breakfast we'll meet in your room or my room like that fix a time that we will have a meeting what are the points you have to discuss in the rematch side what is side that means the hockey umpires one will be doing the match on the table side the other one umpire will be the opposite side you have to discuss in the meeting which side which umpire is going to do my suggestion is the umpire who is able to control the table can take the table side because most of the problems start from the bench. Okay, during the match, most of the problems start from the bench. So the umpire should be able to control the bench. He has to do the table side, the other umpire has to do the other side. It, it, is, it is a gentleman agreement. If he wants to do, let him do. If you want to do, you tell him I will do this side. I'll take the responsibility. You can do that side. Controlling aspect. That is what the match should be controlled. The match should not go out of the umpire's hand. If the match is in umpire control, it is a what do you say? Good to audience to see the match. If the match is out of control, the game is gone and the audience will not have an enjoyment to see the match. If the game is played under the control of umpire, definitely it will be a joy for the audience to watch the match. That is what I asked you first itself, why we need an umpire. If the game the game should be controlled by a person. So the controlling aspect you have to design. We should not, we have to blow the first time certain fouls or we have to give an adv uh, advantage in certain style. All these things you have to discuss. That to control the game, where to leave the game slowly, all these things you have to discuss during the umpire managers, sorry, umpire's meeting. Advantage signal. Simple. Lift your left hand high and show your hand. That means advantage. That attacker commits a foul. Still the ball is in his hand. Sorry, the ball is with his control. He can play the game. He can continue the game. For that, you have to just lift your left hand and show play on. But you should tell your co-umpire. If I give an advantage, my hand is in the air, lifting my hand, don't blow the whistle. Because he may think the attacker, defender did a foul, you didn't notice, he may blow the whistle. So you should tell the co-umpire, this is my advantage signal. When I lift my hand and say play on, you allow the attacker to continue the game. Don't blow for the foul. And the fourth point is, where to blow and where you don't want him to blow the whistle. This is very, very, very important. This is the understanding of the umpires. Mainly it will come understanding because you should know where your co-umpire should blow the whistle and you should tell him where he should not blow the whistle because if you don't discuss all these things in the match, what will happen? You will also blow you will show one direction, you will also show one direction. So please discuss where you need his help, all these things, where you need him to blow the whistle, where you need, need not to blow him whistle. It is means wait. It is not that he should not blow the whistle, but he has to wait for your decision. Then if you delay, he can blow. This is what you have to discuss in the pre-match discussion. I think I am clear in the fourth point. Dividing the area. Dividing the area is the bench side umpire who is 
control of that half plus the dark area of the umpires, that co umpire. That is the area. You have to tell that umpire, this area I will help you. I will, uh, that the area of division I will show in the image, I will show so that you can easily understand. Helping the co, co umpire the, in the blank area, the same. For this also, I will show the image so that you will know idea to where is the blank area and the dividing of the area. How will you help? How will you help him and you need? So, same thing. You have to tell him, I will help you in the blank area in the shooting circle. And the same way, you help me in my blank area. This is, you have to discuss before the match. These are the places I cannot see the ball. You can come and help me. These are the places you can't see the ball. I'll come and help you. This is the discussion you have to make so that you can do the match very, very smoothly. I will show the signal when you need and ask me. I will show the signal. One minute. Excuse me. Okay, I will show the signal when you need, you ask me. That means if the umpires need your help inside the shooting circle, the ball is played, it touches the defender's leg, he didn't notice, he is playing, he is telling to play on, but he didn't see you, but you are showing the penalty corner. It should not happen. Once the umpire asks your help, is looking at you, you show that signal. Otherwise, what happened? It will be create a problem. If the bench side people will say that umpire is not asking, you are showing, or he can't see why you are showing, all these things. So you should have the eye-to-eye -eye contact so that this problem will not come. Aerial ball. Yesterday I discussed about the aerial ball. This is when your pre-match discussion is who will blow for aerial ball. Simple thing is I blow in my half, you blow in your half. But if anything in between falls. Wait. Who is close to the ball? He will blow. Simultaneous whistle with for umpire close to the ah, yeah. When the simultaneous whistle, both umpires whistling for the same foul. If you have a pre-match discussion, it will not happen. Suppose it happens, you should make an agreement. If the simultaneous whistle comes, the umpire who close to the ball. Umpires who are close to the ball will give decision. The umpire who is away from the ball has to wait for the umpire who are close to the ball. If he didn't give decision, you can give your decision. Now I'll show you the pre-match presentation. Match preparation. The match preparation. Pre match preparation sh should include the following things. As I told you already, umpiring shirt. We have to discuss about the umpiring shirt and the side. Which side you are going to do? Advantage state signal. Division of the pitch. What will you do when the simultaneous whistle comes? Wait for the umpire who close to the ball. Then you have to give your decision. This is what I told you. Division of the pitch. Now, the A umpire who is doing this side, his blank area is this. The area, that side of the shooting circle, where he could not see the ball. This area, he could not see the ball. And here also, he could not see the ball. This area, the B umpire should help him to give a correct decision. So, this is called blank area. And the same way, this E has to go till B23 meter and help him here. 
this area he has to help the free empire okay now you understand the area of division of area and the blank area pmax discussion time keeping you have to be there in 30 or 40 minutes before the match substitution you have to keep eye on substitution it is not your job but keep eye on substitution because when you are close to the center line before the player comes one player goes inside it will be a problem so you have to keep eye on the substitution position and role at the penalty corner it is mostly when you are a non operating umpire you should ask your co umpire where you need want me to be what type of help you need from me during the penalty corner simple thing very easy and very it is useful for you when you are a non operating umpire 10 meter inside the center line straight to the goal stand straight to the goal 10 meter inside the center line so that you can see the take off of the ball the first hit from the attacker you can tell the co umpire whether the it was dangerous or not dangerous the same way positioning at the penalty stroke general assistance you can ask the co umpire where and all you need is help and the same way you you have to tell him these are the areas you have to help me and whenever we are doing umpiring keep eye to eye so that simple thing is look at the co umpire then give decision Uh, giving addition taking time out then discussion is unnecessary better look at the if you have any doubt just look at your co umpire then give your addition it will be healthy interpretation how you are going to interpret the rule this that is what you have to discuss in the pre match discussion game game plan and strategy as we said already game plan what is our game plan today today we are not going to allow the body play today the game is speed so we we are going to control the game but if the game is going very speed and very aggressive stop the game no don't go for advantage blow the game first time first time foul so the game will be stopped the team will be cool all these things you have to plan the strategy for the tournament pre match inspection what you have to inspect once you enter the ground your pure duty is to go to the goal post and nets whether anything uh, broken or cut because during the practice session it will may happen the technical officer and judges will check but your duty has to check once again cross check markings the flag post is in the proper position team colors whether the teams having a clash or your t-shirt is clashed with the team or the team colors is clashed with the goalkeeper you please check all these things goalkeeper shirt as i said goalkeeper shirt and team colors clashes you have to inform the goalkeeper to change the jersey captain arm bands captain should wear the arm band you have to give him arm band or ribbon he has to wear the thing to identify the captain Warm up. Humble, sorry. If you are doing a match, you have to do warm up because you are also going to run throughout the match. As I said, the players will get the time. They can run for all out. They can come out, relax. Then can, they can go inside. But as umpire, you will not get a chance to come out and take relaxation. So do humble, sorry. You have to do warm up, nice warm up, and nice stretching. so that you can do the match very peacefully and that adopt the heart and lung function so set your mind if you do warm up on everything you will be having the body condition to do the warm up mentally prepared set your mind oh, yes i am going to do this match i am going to do this match i am well prepared i have i have gone through all the rules study well so i am going to do this match very very well
now i i i think i completed uh, that uh, pre tournament duty of a pre tournament and matches of umpire now i i'll show you the signals video about the umpire signals just watch it i play twice so that you can again you can see and rectify just watch the signals so that Play it again, and the last thing that two minutes, one minute they are showing, it is no needed. you have to keep your hands right shoulder level
this is one you no need to show so don't worry about that okay now i'll show you the 5 meter foul that after free it if the player is not moving 5 meter just watch the yellow player is not moving 5 meter so it is a free against yellow player and also the card to the yellow team just see it again is not moving so see watch again the ball went sideline the uh, blue is taking the ball yellow player is not moving 5 meter so it's a free against the yellow player also the card to the yellow player now body play see that orange player playing a body play you can see in the slow motion clearly compare given a card to that player so just watch the slow motion you can clearly see what is doing this contact see see a stick is blocking the attacker once again you watch you can watch in the slow motion clearly now see what is he doing is blocking is blocking is not allowing the red player to take the ball this is a video about the misconduct just watch i immediately apologize but i think it's going to be too late to say from the car See, see that stick. He's now changed that to yellow card. So it was clumsy, see rather the than the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it is. It is very clumsy. It's over Karen. Yeah. Classic, classic. Once, once again, once again, you see that what the yellow white player did. Immediately apologise, but I think it's going to be too late to save it from the car. He's now changed that to yellow card. So it was clumsy rather than. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's very clumsy. It's over Karen. Okay, now I moreover I covered that uh, pre-match tournament. Sorry, um, duties of umpire pre-tournament and match. Now let me see the questions. I think I may clear your doubt, but one thing I will tell you: all these things you have to go through so that you know. You, you you will be well prepared for the match just like that don't go for tournament year after after this class i want everyone should prepare yourself keep all the things i told you in your mind then you go for the tournament you can see the difference after this thing and before or what you are so my uh, madam can you pose the question yes that during a match if any umpire get injured then the reserve umpire comes inside who will come yes definitely if the field umpire got injured the reserve umpire will be doing the remaining match yes the reserve umpire will come inside next question madam let me see any questions in the whatsapp Can umpire change his side if other umpire is not comfortable? 
all these things you have to do before the match not during the match you cannot say i am not comfort in this side so all these things you have to do before the match okay how many rules in modern hockey as already i think munif sir told you 15 rules okay next question one okay i'll go just check the whatsapp question what will be the results and decision when the goal scored uter uter okay uter did not blow ampere also so what will be the result i can get your question are you trying to say if that uh, after the time gets over the uter is not blown if the time gets over there is a problem in uter the judges will blow the whistle once the time is over if you score a goal that's all it's not a goal during a match if umpire has to replace for any reason can he come back again sorry gentlemen it is not allowed hello card how many minutes suspend that sir okay hello card is minimum 5 minutes maximum 10 minutes that means according to the intention of the foul you are doing during a match if umpire is has to be placed for any reason can he come back for any reason means injured if he is injured if he replaced he cannot come back the reserve umpire will do the remaining matches as yes, next question how many um, how many reserve umpires should be kept in the case of umpires in this and only one reserve umpire two field umpire one reserve umpire Yes. Next. Any video refer last, but due to some technical glitch, no video available means. Okay. This is. I saw many matches. Umpires have some different sound whistle. They are using Fox 40 whistle or some foreign other whistle product using indoor whistle. Which one is you suggest? I suggest Fox 40. I am using Fox 40. that is good original fox 40 whistle is good it is not the whistle how you are whistling is important it is not the whistle is making sound how you are whistling is important that is the very thing if you give a very standard whistle to umpire who doesn't know to the whistle you will not get the sound of the whistle is a shin pad not compulsory to wear for umpire as he like football no no need umpire not doesn't not doesn't want to wear shin pad Yes, any fitness test for umpire? Yeah, yo-yo test. Before the tournament, they are conducting yo-yo test. Before it was a deep test, now it is a yo-yo test. What is the role of a third umpire? Third umpire means a reserve umpire. Reserve umpire will sit and watch the game. If any emergency, that means injury or anything, he may replace. Otherwise, the ER he will give the feedback after the match to the umpires, and during the off time, he will be ready with the refreshment for the umpires. Okay, next question. If a near umpire made a wrong decision during a goal scoring, other umpire can overcome his decision. Uh, if that umpire ask, if they take a time out, if he consult the co umpire, then he can overcome. You cannot see one umpire is avoiding a goal in the center. Uh, that umpire is close to the goal or in the goal. You cannot. The co umpire cannot. Disallow the goal without the without the umpire in concern. You cannot disallow. Two green card, one yellow card taken in the league match. What is the decision? Uh, I don't think there is no combination of a cards in hockey. This will be answered well by Mr. Mohammad Munir. Anna, are you? Uh, what is the procedure of evaluation of umpire? yeah actually you have to do your local matches then your local district will uh, recommend you for the state state association will recommend you for national and national federation will recommend you for international yes next question during a match mobility and position is very difficult to so please give some tips mobility and uh, positioning it is lack of fitness It is lack of fitness. You are not getting a position. Another thing is, simple advice is, don't rest and run. 
any move is that run then relax because most of the thing when the 16 yards it is taken from your off you will just sit stand once it is taken if you start you will be running the same way when the free it is take 16 yards it taken in the opponent off you are standing in the opponent 23 meter you are just stand after it is taken then you start running chasing the ball better run then take rest do more fitness will be having the positioning element in any pose or their become became umpire pose is not that you have to approach your uh, local association they may conduct the exam and the state association will be conducted on exam so you can you have to approach the association next how many times use yellow card in each player one player as uh, at this point i already told you there is no thing the player have a risk limit to receive simple logic is the same infringement the same color card should not be shown that's all please explain penalty shootout timing uh, it is a 8 seconds penalty shootout should be taken within the 8 seconds the shootout taker should complete the shootout within the 8 seconds if it is over the 8 seconds the shootout over If a goalkeeper goes out of the circle, hit the ball by his foot instead of using stick, which foul will be given? Hundred percent penalty corner with card. Goalkeeper is not allowed to play the ball outside the shooting circle. Who should take the fitness test? Did your committee? Committee is nowhere part of the umpiring or technical people. Okay, tournament director will not take. Umpire's manager will take the fitness test for the umpire. Yes. Okay. Next question. I already answered this question. I'll see one questions in the WhatsApp. When video referral asked by asked, but due to the some technical glitch, no video is available. So it is decision of umpire. But the team has a referral; they will keep the referral with them. That's all. If there is no video referral, video clips is not available. The umpire decision will stand, and the team will keep the referral. Let's today we explain about new rule. Can you take a minute and explain it? Okay, clearly. A player has a mouth guard that extends behind his mouth, covering his top and bottom lips. It is also cover the front portion of his face. So equipment is lengthy. Actually, the mouth guard you have to keep it inside. And another thing, what is the disadvantage for the opponent if he's having a mouth guard coming out of his mouth? Nothing wrong in that. main role of a timekeeper umpire in match sorry the umpires will not keep the timing it is the duty of a judges will keep the timing the umpires will not keep the timing okay next question how many referral allowed for a team one referral allowed for a team if it is wrong they lose the referral if it is correct they will keep the referral Yes. Yesterday you explained about the new rule, sir. Can you explain? Yes. Yesterday I told about the free behind the twenty-three meter. If a free is taken behind the twenty-three meter, if the player, defending player, is not moved five meter away from the ball, the free will be taken again. The card will be given to the player. The same way, in before, if a free is taken. the player is not moved 5 meter he disturb the move within 5 meter of the free the free it will be given 10 meters they can bring the ball forward 10 meters now that rule is gone the team on the team the player will be penalized the player who was not moving 5 meter will get a card so simple logic is the individual penalizing is there no team penalizing is there so The player has to move five meter. If he doesn't move five meter, he will get a card. Older rule, 
the free it will be extended 10 meter forward if they are getting free it outside the 23 meter if the player is not moving 5 meter that free it will be comes inside the 23 meter okay that rule is gone and uh, can a card be shown to a coach or a manager what card what at what second actually this is uh, munir sir explained well in the last classes regarding the coach and the card cannot be shown but you can send him out by issuing a letter that is the duty of a technical officer not of umpire if the bench is not the manager is shouting you can call the man coach sorry captain and warn him you cannot issue card or anything to the manager or coach sir if umpire is injured what is the rule if umpire is got injured first thing he has to attend the injury and he has to come out the reserve umpire will go and take his place who does the appointment for umpires yes as i told you the appointment for umpires will be done by umpires manager okay i'll uh, again brief the things i told you pre match discussion kindly this if you going for a tournament just like that don't go for a tournament maintain keep yourself fit prepare yourself for the match and what are the points i told checklist keep all the checklist with you then once you get the appointment first thing once you get the appointment you have to make a confirmation to availability to the authority then talk to your yes before that i got a question in hockey what will cause the major penalty to be assessed for tipping i can't get your question sorry i can't get your question what role what role third umpire during the penalty shootout yes uh mostly the reserve umpire will be standing with the time judge the umpires both umpires will be in action the reserve umpire will be standing with the time judge okay coming i finish that one so pre match and pre tournament all the points i told you please go through that so that you can go to the tournament with well prepared and uh, so that you can do the match very easily another thing before the match compulsory you should have a pre chat with your co umpire pre match discussion without discussion just don't go don't go inside the ground and do the umpiring because without pre match discussion if you do the match there will be a misunderstanding or you will blow for one visit foul you will blow for one foul you will allow aerial ball you will not allow aerial ball so all the and the cards when you have to give cards you will be giving cards all these things have should be shot out in the pre match discussion so all the points go through that yes there is one push play in shooting circle the goalkeeper any equipment was mistaken kept it near the goal post where it hit deflect throw the goal post what decision okay and i'll i'll take your question in this way if the goalkeeper is equipment is laying in the ground it touches the attacker taking attempt to the goal it touches the goalkeeper equipment and it goes inside the ground it is a goal anything laying on the ground is a part of the field if a ball the attacker hitting a ball it touches the umpire leg and goes to the goal it is a goal and you are saying the goalkeeper kept it is a duty of umpire to tell the goalkeeper to keep the things away from the playing area he can keep the things behind the goal line not side or inside once the umpire gets the posting for the tournament whom should he inform and confirm it how is el going el going penalty for a signal by umpire i think if see uh, one thing just show the penalty gone off if a team asks what for you are giving penalty gone off you can show but it is not that every foul you have to show this has happened that has happened when you fouls happen you show the direction if the team asks what is that you can tell them like that lifting your elbow and pushing like that or pushing in the hand movement or dangerous keep the keep one hand on your chest tap on your chest and say dangerous or pushing one hand or lifting your elbow and saying this movement all these things you can it is not that you have to show every 
foul. Some uh, some of them lift the leg and show no need. If the, you can show the direction. If teams comes and ask, teams ask, you can explain or you can tell them this has happened. No need. All the fouls you have to show the direction. Okay. Once umpire gets a posting for the tournament, uh, I already told whom you have to inform. You have to inform to the authority. What will happen if both umpires are injured? There is only one reserve umpire. Yeah, very good question. See, if the both umpires are injured, the reserve umpire is there. Automatically, it is a umpire's manager and TD will call for another umpire, ask him to do. Mostly, this will not happen. Injury. That is what if you are not doing fitness properly, if you are not doing warm up properly, the injury will come. And you may say the ball stuck. That is what the experience and the way when you do the matches, the injuries will come only when you are not doing the fitness properly. If you are not doing a fitness, you are not doing the warm up properly, you will get an injury. The ball, the ball broken off the ground of the ball. See, gentlemen, it is that the thing happens during the olden days when they are playing with the uh, hockey ball. Nowadays, it is not possible. It is not happened. It is uh, what do we say? Tower ball will not broke into two pieces. If it is broken into two pieces, one part goes into the goal. Simply, it is not a goal. The full circumference of the ball should cross the goal line. Then only goal will be awarded. Audition will be unfair if the stick broken during the execution of the skill. Yeah, you have to replace the stick. If it is, you cannot change your sticks. If it is, you cannot change the stick during the penalty corner and penalty stroke. Good, but if it is broken, it is not in a playable condition. You have to change it. That is allowed. Yes, is a goalkeeper clan. Hey, I think it is goal post area. Outside the goal post area. I think yesterday also I saw this question. Goal post area. And uh, no goal post area is not there in hockey. Shooting circle is there. He can play. He cannot play outside. Yeah, he should not be as a goalkeeper. With the goal, he cannot. Just classical clarification after the match. Any one umpire can consult and talk with the team coach and manager like any argument. Or. And uh, advisably, it is better to avoid. Better to avoid because the team which lost the match. They will not going to accept your decision. So, if they comes to you with a proper way and healthy decision, you can make. But it is not that you should go voluntarily tell that uh, this has happened. This is the foul happened. I given this. All these things you should not tell. How many matches umpire should do in a day according to his fitness? <laughs> I tell that only. If you are able to do five matches a day, well and good. But mostly in the uh, high standard match, you will get one matches a day. If you are fit, you can do five or six matches. What hockey penalty is assessed if a player protects the equipment is not properly covered? The player will be carded. Yeah, it is not covered. The protective equipment actually protective equipment. You mean mask or arm uh, glove or uh, leg guard? During the panel, after the penalty corner, he has to keep it safely behind the back line. Match is stopped due to unfrozen. Remaining time of the match will be played in the next day. As Munich sir already informed you about this. This and all comes under the technical side. Can one male or one female umpire of given as one people umpire in a match? There are any roles for it. Yeah, you can do no problem in that. In the women's nationals, you can see one male and one female umpire is doing. There is nothing wrong in that. So there is no need to wear a shin pad by umpires as he like. Yes, I already told that. Yes, I got some question in the WhatsApp. Knocking hand gloves allowed on both hands. Hand gloves allowed on both hands for whom? Players during the penalty corner. Okay. 
on which circumstances the red card can be issued red card can be issued during if there are uh, injury that means body play misconduct that blood bleeding if a player hit a opponent player there is a bleeding compulsory it is a red card there is no doubt in that what does pms in the role of modern hockey uh this can be answered by mohammed munis sir but pms is a tournament management system it is nowadays all the national tournaments is conducted in this system only match scoring match report everything will be comes in this okay next any player hit the ball and ball touches the goal any player hit by foot in the goal area the one hole have or no sorry gentlemen i can't get your question match ended in draw unable to continue on the same day can it can be played on the uh if they've completed it is a knockout matches the remaining time and the score if the player got caught everything will be the same the remaining matches will come continue from where the matches stop if the matches stop at 23 meter the match will continue next day from the 23 meters playing playing in a shooting circle area defender made a mistake umpire show penalty on a signal that time attacker score a goal what will ah uh, umpire shown signal if he blown the whistle the ball is dead once the ball is dead if you score a goal it is not a goal the penalty corner stands the goal will disallow okay yes madam i think i answered most of your questions malay madam Thank you, sir, for your detailed presentation on uh, duties and responsibilities of uh, umpires prior to the tournament and matches. So, uh, today we learned a uh, lot of information uh, from your uh, session, sir. I'm sure that it would be very ha helpful to all of us. And um, thank you for your patience in uh, answering all the questions asked by the participants. Mm. Thank you, sir. For the past five days, tomorrow we are uh, taking a break. Uh, we will continue our next session on Monday. Uh, request to participate with the same spirit. Once again, thank you all for your active participation. Thank you all.